okay so first of all I'm going to search for planet sizes then I'm going to scroll down and click on this link here then I'll scroll down again and select this text and then control C to copy then we'll open up an Excel spreadsheet and I'll right click and I'll paste without the formatting then while everything is still selected I'm going to go to replace and I will search for an open bracket and then an asterisk and the asterisk is a wild card that can represent anything and in this case it's representing everything on the right hand side of the open brackets in the replace with box I'm going to leave this blank so it will actually remove everything on the right hand side of the open brackets including the open brackets itself then I'll click replace all and we now have everything on the left hand side remaining which is just the name of the planet and the size I now want to split this into two columns so I'll type in the first name here Mercury then in the cell underneath I will press Control E which is the keyboard shortcut for flash fill and this tries to copy the pattern in the first cell and it usually does quite a good job so in this case it has accurately removed all of the names of the planets I'm going to do the same thing for the numbers so I'll type in the first one here then in the next cell I'll press Control E which is the keyboard shortcut for flash fill and it will fill in all of the rest of the numbers for me and I'll just quickly check down the column to make sure that it has copied the numbers correctly then I can delete this column here and I'll select all of these cells and Control C to copy and then I'll right click and I'll paste them transposed so now they are on their side I'll then delete all of these columns here then I will go back online and I will search for Wikimedia Commons shapes and enter and then I'll click on this link here so Wikipedia has a selection of images that anyone can use under the Creative Commons license so at the moment I'm in the category shapes and then I'm going to go into a subcategory for shapes by color then I'm going to search for circles by color then I'm going to search for blue circles then I'll scroll down until I find a circle that I like so in Excel we can't use any files that end in .svg because Excel can't handle that file format and also it's best to choose an image which has this checkered background because that means that it doesn't actually have a background I'll then click on this image so that's the only thing on the page and then click in the bar at the top and use Control C to copy this URL then we'll go back to Excel and I'll type in equals image and then for source I need to put this in quotation marks and in the middle of the quotation marks I will paste in the URL that I just copied I get this security notice because I'm now connecting this Excel spreadsheet to something on the internet but that's fine so I'll just click paste everything and then at the end of this I need to put in some more values so for the alternative text I'm just going to skip that and then for sizing I'm going to put in 3 for a custom size then I'm going to put in a height and for the time being I'm just going to leave this as a hundred and then I'm not going to put in a width and close brackets and enter and now I get this circle image inside my Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to click and drag this formula across then I'll put these circles in the middle of the cell 
Now, what I actually want is for all of these circles to be different sizes based on the size of the planet. So I'm going to edit the height here and link it to this cell instead. Now, this number is much too large, so I'm going to divide this number by a 100 and enter. And now I'll drag this formula across again, and I get circles that are all different sizes. I'm going to make this row larger and also make the columns for Jupiter and Saturn larger as well. Now I'm going to do some formatting to make this look a little bit better. So I'll start by putting all of the numbers in the middle and I'll give these numbers some new formatting. So I'll give them an 1000 separator and zero decimal places and OK. Then let's get a title. So I'll go back to this page here and copy this title and paste it in here. And we'll unwrap that. And then I should probably also insert a row here and say that this is the radius in miles. So we know what the numbers stand for. Then I'll select all of this and I will change the fill to black. And then I will change the text to white so we can still see the text. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a diagram showing the size of the planets in Excel, and that is everything.